What's up you guys, this is Devin from Century FX Studios back with another video. Today we're gonna to be fixing a Pocket Wizard Plus X today. For those of you who do not have this copy, this is what it looks like. This is the overall shape. It's like shaped like a D and it has the little rotary dial that gives you 10 channels to work with. Now we're gonna be fixing, lo and behold, the hot shoe mount <laughs> because for those of you who have Pocket Wizards, you know that the first thing to go is that hot shoe mount. The actual mount that you crank onto the top of your camera. Why? Because Pocket Wizard made out of plastic. Now, since this is made out of plastic, that plastic piece can easily be brushed up on, bumped into, mismounted, cranked too hard, and it'll either crack in half or just fall off of your camera if it hits just the slightest bit of pressure. So you'll understand why I purchased this. And for those of you who have them, understand why you need to know how to fix them instead of buying them over and over again but that's what pocket wizard wants they want you to buy them and buy them over again you can buy these at the pocket wizard website um you can just google pocket wizard parts and it'll probably pull up it's probably one of the most sold things for those people who do know how to fix it how to fix it i got two because i need to now um once you get into this, you're going to understand it's very simple. You just get a screwdriver. Now, the screwdriver that I have, um, I'm going to put the size and everything like that in the video for you to understand exactly what you need. But essentially, all you have to do is open the battery flap. Make sure you don't have any batteries in it. And then you unscrew the screw that's on the inside of there. And then you unscrew the back end, the front end. So you'll see the one that's in the battery compartment here. It's it's very, very hard to get to, but you don't need tweezers. Some people need it tweezers. I have big fingers, but once you get your screwdriver in there, my screwdriver is magnetized. So once I get that screw out, I'll be all good. But it's not that hard to get to it. It's right in the, the lower left corner of the battery um, section of the pocket wizard. And then uh, once you get that out, all you have to do is unscrew the one that's in the front part of the pocket wizard. And then I'll show you exactly what to do after that. All right, now once you get the pocket wizard unscrewed, it's gonna be a little hard to get it off. You're gonna use those little openings on the top corner of your pocket wizard to help you get enough um, grip on the pocket wizard to actually open it up. Now there's no wires in this, so don't be afraid to open it up, but don't rip it open. You wanna be very, very careful when you do this. And then you're gonna see the antenna, which is that squiggly thing at the top. And then you're going to see the, um, the board, the circuit board on the inside. Now, um, it's pretty tightly put together. It has um, some nice built quality to it on the inside because I've dropped it a whole bunch of times and the only thing that seems to break is the hot shoe mount. But you're going to understand that you have uh, two leads on the bottom. So once you sit your new hot shoe mount on, you can just slide it in this one. In other older pocket wizards, you have to twist it on. But this one, you can just sit in place. Now, you have to understand that the pocket wizard has contacts on it. The actual the actual circuit board has contacts on it. It has golden contacts. Those golden contacts are supposed to touch the two golden contacts on your hot shoe mount, the new hot shoe mount that you purchased. If those golden contacts are not touching, then you will not make contact. It will not work. Now look very closely at the pocket wizard. I'm going to get a close up of the contacts that you need. I'm pointing to them with my screwdriver here. The two gold contacts need to make contact with those two little teeth contacts coming out of your um, your hot shoe right here. So your hot shoe has two little golden little teeth contacts. Well, they need to line up. So the side that needs to go into the pocket wizard is the side with the contacts here. Those contacts make direct contact with those gold plates on your circuit board. And it's pretty straightforward. When you look at your pocket wizard, you're going to understand. You're going to be like, oh, okay, these two need to touch these two. And that's pretty much it. So make sure you slide it in the correct way. There's only one right way to do it, essentially. You can do it the wrong way, but it's kind of obvious when you do it the wrong way because your pocket wizard won't make contact. 
and then you won't get any flashes. So once you sit it in there, you sit it in there nice and pretty, and then um, make sure those contacts are meeting. If you need to, you can tighten your new um, hot shoe mount to keep it in place, but you're gonna have to loosen it to uh, get that other side on just a little bit. So um, once you loosen it just a little bit, you can get the um, other side right into place. And that's pretty much it. All right, now it's time to reinstall your pocket wizard. You just close it like a door, really. That's pretty much it, guys. So once you put it back together, that's it. You have a newly working pocket wizard for less than half the price.